see it offline for Android technology actions. So let's kick off the demos here. So the first thing I'm going to show is our is the offline for Android product. So hopefully you all can see my screen here, my Android device. So I'm running this on a on a Cipher Lab um, hardened scanner. And first we'll notice a couple things. One, uh, there's no SIM card on this device, and um, you can see up here my Wi-Fi is turned off. And also see right here that in the background I have this, I have the local database, um, basically the, the mini ERP is, is running um, on the device. So I should be fully functional here in my offline mode. So I'm going to start up our app. Um, many of you may be familiar with it. Here we have a, a list of different SAP server connections. I'm going to connect here to my my local SAP server. This is the one running right on my Android phone. And I'm going to log in. And so here we have Plant Maintenance Launchpad, and this is actually just a, a version an app which is we have some oil and gas customers who are, are using this on their offshore rigs currently and so again we'll go through the different phases of the, the plant maintenance flow uh, creating a notification creating work orders and entering our timekeeping information so we'll start by creating a notification here the way we're going to do this is we're going to Imagine that we're out on the plant floor. We notice something's going on with a piece of equipment. It has a barcode on it, so we're going to scan that barcode. I'll just scan that right in there. Now let's look up. And so this is part of the lookup data set that we've defined. We see that the it's included in that data set. Select this piece of equipment um, and notice that from here, we can jump into either creating a notification or creating a work order. So for now, we'll just create a notification. And we'll go through this process. So this is a leaking There will not be any rig downtime associated with this pump leaking. I'm just going to fill out the required field at this point. So this is just walking me through the required fields. Blend this one on the vendor. And that should do it. I think I've taken care of all of my required fields now. I will save this. And since that's been created, we can take a look at it. We can see leaking pump. This is the one that I just created. Um, and I can see any additional ones that have been created on this device um, and are stored on the local database. So now, let's go back to work order section. Now, as we drill into the, uh, the work order section, we can see uh, a list of uh, outstanding work orders, a few pages of these. From here, create a work order again. I can scan a barcode, look that up. Yes, the circuit breaker. I'll 
create a work order here. LP, LP, uh, connection. I think that's all I need to do here. We'll save that. And we can see the faulty connection uh, work order now exists here in this list drill into it, we can take a look at the equipment associated with that notification and so on. So all of this is the, what we're seeing now is the mix of both the, the locally stored data and all of the equipment that we've chosen to store within this local data set and all of the transactional business logic which is required to drive the UI to tell me what fields are required and how to move between these different data input fields. So this is the, I guess I can also show, the other thing I said I was gonna show is the, the time timekeeping. So if we go here and I'm gonna edit this work order, I can say it's gonna be today. Obviously, an advantage here is that all of this data can be captured in real time digitally. And when it comes time to enter that connected environment again, pushing all of this data back into SAP is not a matter of re-entering it. Synchronization is obviously done by it handles a lot of those data conflicts are happened ahead of time before we even get to the synchronization stage, uh, but use notifications and then the master data. So hopefully that gives an idea of what's possible here with the offline for Android product.